I personally thought we weren't going to hear much from Ronnie 2K, considering the fact we already saw him say some very interesting things on Twitter, but I was wrong. Ronnie tweeted out that he was in a Twitch stream talking to the chat, and he started replying to people who were talking bad about him. Here, check out some of the things he said. Just so you guys believe me, this isn't photoshopped and this is the real Ronnie 2K Twitch account. He also claimed he wasn't hacked. He tweeted out a stream and said he was chilling with the people. So everything you see is 100% real. He was popping in and out of people's random streams, claiming to be giving away logos and just replying to a bunch of people in the chat. Now with Ronnie in a 2K live stream and most of these being stage streams and park streams, you kind of knew how this was going to turn out. It became really toxic really fast. People were saying some pretty disrespectful things, and for the first time ever, I actually don't blame Ronnie for some of the replies he sent. People were saying things about his family and being extremely personal. So Ronnie decided to take some shots back. Ronnie claimed he would actually fight someone in the chat, saying he would beat them up. Yeah, this is the real Ronnie 2K typing these responses. The toxicity continued and Ronnie 2K returned the same energy replying with some pretty savage replies like this one on your screen ronnie replied to someone in the twitch chat and he said i'll make a good game when your mom explains to me how she puts up with you as a child which i think probably triggered a lot of people in that chat and probably a lot of you guys watching this video right now because once again ronnie 2k the head whatever he is at 2k basically the face of the game is openly joking about knowing why 2k20 is not really a good game by any means also i'm not too sure what this dude said to ronnie but it must have been pretty savage or he's just tired of hearing the same things over and over again in another stream ronnie 2k stopped by in the streamer asked ronnie if it was the real ronnie on his account and ronnie replied with oh it's me all right followed by a he ain't gonna tell me to suck his blank I think Ronnie was referring to banning a viewer in the chat because he was telling Ronnie to, yeah, you know, I can't really say it for monetization purposes, but a lot of the things that people were saying to Ronnie, I think was actually getting to him. When I was in someone's stream and everyone who had Ronnie in their stream modded him. So with that being said, Ronnie was banning a lot of people who were saying things to him. If they were insulting him or just saying smart things, Ronnie would literally ban them. So I'm not too sure if this was bothering him or it was just annoying, maybe a combination of the two, but Ronnie was going out and banning a lot of people who wanted to express how they really felt about Ronnie, which was pretty interesting to watch. There are about five to six other screenshots of Ronnie 2K saying some pretty savage thing in Twitch chats today, but it's all kind of the same thing. Him joking about making a bad game and him telling people to cry who keep complaining about the game and adding him on Twitch. I still think it's pretty mind blowing that the head honcho of your video game image is sitting in Twitch chats, tweeting out on Twitter, going live on TV and honestly arguing with people who are probably 15 and basically acknowledging that they made an incomplete game this year. This just kind of showcases me that Ronnie is basically untouchable. Like, I want you guys to think about this. How many videos have I made on Ronnie 2K of him simply just acting like a not really intelligent person? Especially when it comes to you being the main image of the biggest basketball game of all time. As mentioned, he's gone on live TV, talked about 2K, and basically joked about almost losing his job. He's gone on Twitter and basically told people that he's better than them. He's gone now in Twitch chats and argue with people telling them to cry over the game they made this year. And it's just not really something you would expect from someone who is the lead image for a basketball game this big. But like I said, I feel like some of these replies that Ronnie2k dished out on Twitch are pretty warranted considering some of the stuff that was said to Ronnie. It's never really cool to get personal over a video game. Although I do understand that Ronnie really did step over the line this year and he has done it previous years before and has yet to face backlash. I know some people feel like it's on them to tell them how they really feel, but honestly, it's not really that serious when you get personal and start throwing personal insults about people's family and about other things that really have nothing to do with the video game. 
but ronnie 2k went in got a little toxic and told people basically how he really felt so with that being said that is going to bring the video to an end i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to drop a like and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel we are so close to 50 thousand subscribers i actually feel really weird saying that but yeah 50 000 subscribers on the way make sure you guys like this video make sure you sub up turn those notifications on so you don't miss a video thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you guys next time and peace